The owner of the company responsible for that green slime like pollution along I-696 in Madison Heights is behind bars. Gary Sayers turned himself into federal prison on Friday. He pleaded guilty and was sentenced for illegally storing hazardous waste in 2016. 7 Action News reporter Jen Shantz is live for us tonight along 696. And Jen, what's the state saying about its ongoing cleanup efforts and does Sayers being in prison affect any of this? Well, they're saying no, Brian. A spokesperson from Eagle telling Action News today they are focused on ongoing remediation efforts here using sump pumps. They've also collected several samples from that site in Madison Heights. The results of those expected in one to two weeks will determine what the state plans to do next. Green ooze, which poured out over 696 in December, causing concern for drivers, state health officials, and the EPA, was traced back to electroplating in Madison Heights, a company with a history of legal trouble when it comes to properly storing hazardous waste. The company and its owner, Gary Sayers, sentenced in federal court back in November. Sayers ordered to spend a year behind bars. According to the government, he knowingly illegally stored waste in 2016, despite repeated warnings from health officials. Friday, Sayers reported to prison. Action News has reached out to his attorney. We're still waiting to hear back. What we want is uh, for the site to be con uh, remediated and Gary uh, Sayers is responsible for that, says Jill Greenberg with Eagle. The company located in Madison Heights is in litigation with the city over the building, which is currently condemned. High levels of multiple contaminants were found in soil and groundwater at the company's site after the ooze was spotted on the freeway. But Sayers' personal address in Sanilac County is also sparking concern from Eagle. We're going to walk around, uh, see what's going on there. And last time we were there in 2017, we saw no evidence of of hazardous materials, so we're going back out Monday or Tuesday to make sure that's still the case. This week, Action News went to the property in Sanilac County, finding plastic and metal drums, one with a label for a hazardous chemical previously flagged by the EPA. State investigators also planning to return to the site in Madison Heights for further inspection. We're definitely going to look into it. Uh, anytime we get um, tips or information like that, we're going to go out and look at it. Now, back in 2005, Sayers pleaded guilty in state court to illegally transporting hazardous waste. Again, we have attempted to reach out to both him and his attorney, and we have not heard back yet. Related to that green ooze found on the freeway, uh, we are told that the chair of the House Appropriations Committee is expected to start, hearing, start holding hearings on this at some point. We, of course, will keep you posted live in Madison Heights tonight. Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.